we all said together. I received a question from a young woman, and I get a lot of questions and uh, through social media, and you can follow me, of course, Pastor Andy WOCC, and I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on TikTok now, help us Holy Ghost, and you certainly can send me a question, and it'll come straight to me. And uh, a, a, a woman, her name is Kay, I'm not going to say her whole name, her name is Kay, and uh, she asked me a question, and I'm going to read it. Her question says, hello, I have a question. Is it okay for Christians to have cosmetic surgery like Botox, etc., or is it a sin? Okay, that's an excellent question. And I, I, I was going to write you back, but I figured I'd take a moment to answer the question in our devotional tonight because I think it's a question that a lot of people have, and I don't necessarily mean the specifics of your question, but I think just the question of sin itself. And uh, most of us, I, I, and I don't want to speak too extemporaneously, but I, I think I'm safe in, in suggesting that many of us it, that were raised in church were raised in a fear-based religious, religious perspective, okay? A fear-based religious experience. I know certainly that's how I was raised. Um, and I know that many of us, that's what we were taught. We were we were sinners in the hands of an angry God, and we were mostly taught the fear of the Lord. I was taught, I, I was made to memorize the passage there of Proverbs. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Through me, your years will be many, and days will be added to your life. Days will be many, years will be added into your life. And uh, that passage there in Proverbs. And so I I was taught the fear of the Lord, not just the terror of the Lord or the fear or, or, the, or the, the just straight desperate horror of God, but, but the caution as a result of my knowledge of God. Sometimes I think when we talk about the fear of the Lord, and I, I've talked about this you know, here on this devotional study that I, that I think that there are three prongs to our relationship with God. And uh, my little props gone, but I had I had a, a basic like a little a little stand and show those three legs: love and need and fear. Or really, fear, love, need is really the, the the order in which I think they're explained in the Bible. And I think that we can live in a time in which we almost are determined not to fear God at all. And we we ministered so much on grace and mercy, and it's all wonderful. Uh, at the same time, I think the fear can go too far. And I think that many of us were raised more fearing God than loving him. I certainly remember praying every night. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray my, my the Lord, my soul to keep. If I die before I wake, pray my Lord, this, my Lord, my soul to take. I mean, I was praying that when I was four, five, six years old, uh, before I even had the knowledge of good and evil, before I had even reached puberty. I I mean, it was just led to be afraid and taught fear when it came to God of the kingdom. And uh, I think that there is a wisdom to that. Like I said, like I quoted, that, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That wisdom does come as a result of fear. Wisdom does come as a result of caution. And, and I... I, if you saw me go, ah, fear, because I, I, I think the idea that wisdom comes from fear or terror, it's a truth, but it's a truth we don't necessarily like. So my face frowns up when I say it. But I, I am cautious because I'm afraid. Uh, I, I, and I, I, I know fear not for God is with me, and I know God has not given me the spirit of fear. But there is something to be said for caution. There is something to be said. And there are things to be afraid of. And there's a wisdom that comes as a result of that. We've all been around a kid playing on a jungle gym, and they just have no fear. <laughs> You're telling them, be careful. They, they're trying to jump down from six feet in the air because they don't have any fear. They have yet to learn caution. They have yet to learn to be careful. They have yet to learn the fear of life, let alone the fear of the Lord. We're living in a world and a time in which we, we barely want our children to be afraid of us. 
And I think there's something to be said for your children to have some fear of you. And um, so that fear does go a long way. Get to your point, Pastor Andy. My point is that I think that we were raised so much in a fear-based perspective that we got away from the love of God. Here, John says in verse 16, and so we know and rely on the love God has for us. Part of the reason why I spent the last six, seven minutes just explaining some of the background and some of the birth for many of us into Christianity or into spirituality at being on fear is so that I can introduce this idea, and I don't think it's an introduction, but just for us to have a conversation about the importance of knowing and relying on the love that God has for us. John assumes, I hope I I'm not saying Paul, please forgive me Well, if I say Paul, because I reference Paul so much, but John is, is trying to say, well, we know the love of God and we rely on the love of God. The start of it is the knowledge of the love of God. The second part is relying on the love of God. A part of your, your question, Kay, uh, her question for all of us who aren't her, and Kay, if you're watching tonight, the, the part of the, the challenge of the question is if someone was to get cosmetic surgery, um, meaning if they've done something to themselves permanently, and this can apply to more than just sur surgery, this can apply to tattoos, this can, I mean, where does it begin? Where does it end? I know you said cosmetic surgery, Botox, but where does, where, once we're, we're talking about something that impacts your flesh, something that you've done to your flesh, something that a person has done to their flesh through surgery, is that wrong? And I, is it, is that a wrong thing to do? And I think that that's a, that, there is no Bible that says anything about